Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and welcome back to another DCS World game... Mm, tutorial? No. The, honestly, this is probably more of just like a demonstration video, like a tech demonstration video, because uh, I have recently come across a new feature in Oculus Mirror called Image Stabilization. Now, fair word of warning, I am not going to show you how to set this up because I found out about this through an iRacing YouTuber slash streamer, and a link to their tutorial video is in the description below. And I would much prefer you to learn it through them than to just watch my video and not give them the views that they deserve. So please, if you want to learn how to enable this, go to their video, it's in the description below. Now, let's go over why image stabilization is important. Well, if you notice, there are currently two video feeds being shown to you in this video. The one on the left is DCS World without image stabilization. It's just straight up the DCS, you know, game monitor screen thing. But the video on the right is Oculus Mirror with image stabilization enabled. And during this entire time I've been talking, if you haven't been paying attention, the video on the left is way more shaky, especially when I talk, compared to the video on the right. Now, why is that? That is because when people talk, they have a natural tendency to shake their head. Because, go figure, they have something called a jaw. <laughs> now, not to discriminate against, uh, discriminate against people who don't have jaws, but when people talk, generally speaking, they are moving their jaw, and as a result, they are, end up shaking their head naturally as a part of the communication process. In addition to that, there's also very subtle emotional cues, uh, cues that you can deliver by moving your head while conversing with other people. Unfortunately, that doesn't translate well to a audience who is watching VR gameplay because when they're looking through the eyes of the YouTuber or streamer talking, it feels unnatural, it feels nauseating. And that is unfortunately a really bad side effect that comes with VR and watching other people play VR. Now, oh, and I had a bit of stutter there, but that's all right. Uh, now, how do you remedy this? That is through image stabilization, as I've said already. Thanks to image stabilization, the viewing experience for the audience doesn't have to be compromised just because the YouTuber or streamer wants to provide live commentary. Uh, they are now allowed to just naturally play the game without forcing themselves to, you know, like, just hold their head steady like this and just very subtly talk almost like they're talking like a robot instead of their natural selves but it's just for the effort of keeping their head nice and steady for the viewing experience. But because of image, image uh, stabilization through the Oculus Mirror, they can play more naturally and just talk as they're flying. They don't have to worry about their head shaking around too much. So this is why I think that the feature provided by Oculus Mirror is such a valu uh, valuable tool for people like I don't know, people who like to stream DCS or racing games or, you know, whatever VR games they want to play because it reduces the nausea uh, experience by their viewers and makes them want to stick around more. So anyways, that's all I wanted to say about this new feature. I thought it was really cool. I got it to work just fine. Hopefully you can see the benefit of using it. Uh, so do me a favor, give me a like if you think this video is beneficial and please make sure to check this feature out and how to set it up through the description or through the link in the description below. Give them a look, give them a like, tell them I sent you, and please tune in next time for some more live commentary DCS gameplay videos. Take care guys, have a nice day.